Hello everyone, welcome back. All glory be to God. We are together again. Glory be, glory be to God. Um, I pray you all are doing well and blessed. And this is a, a, a message and a word that I received from the Lord uh, yesterday, January the 30th, 2018. And um, of course, I like to pray over these messages and the Lord actually like helps me sort it out and this one I needed to sort a little bit uh, only because it is a call to action for all of you um, and myself as well. Uh, the children of God is a call to action and um, he loves us. He loves us so much. It's like it's like when your your mom puts the carrots in your lunch as well as like two Oreo cookies. You know, we we have our nutritional needs, but we do have the fun stuff too. And so the Lord will give us the fun stuff, but we also need the nutritional things as well. Uh, maybe not the best analogy, but uh, in the sense that... Um, he keeps the balance. We all have a balance. And um, right now, what he shared with me yesterday was a memory. And the memory was my call to action years ago. Uh, I want to say it was around the holidays. I was listening to evangelist Anita Fuentes. Uh, I want to say it was pretty close to Christmas. Um, she had a message for us, for us to anoint our homes and our family with oil. And it was like a bell rung in my soul. Yes. And that was the memory he gave me yesterday. Just like, you know, poof. There it was. Anoint your home and your family. And I knew I had done this. So that's when I knew it wasn't a message for me. It was a message that I should share. Because whatever's coming, we need a hedge of protection around us. We need the covering. So imagine you're standing in a large green field. Beautiful, yes? Probably peaceful, except for you're fully exposed. You have no covering, no surrounding. You're completely in the open. You have God's love and protection around you, but it's around you. He's saying, expand it to your home. And I think in the sense of keeping things out so you can fully focus on his word and his message. Keep those distractions clear. Keep those, those, um, the white noise is what I usually say with my father. We talk about white noise. Uh, the distractions of the world that pull you away. You know, um, it's, it, and it could be subtle or it could be in your face. But all these distractions and I'll let, I'll let you fill in the blank because we all have a different life we're leading. Um, but we're still on our walk with the Lord. Amen. Okay. So, um, anointing ourselves is a beautiful thing. Anointing our family is amazing. And anointing our home is the key. Um, so let's, let's, let's go into anointing our home. Okay, so I found this uh, statement, and I love when it just gets straight to the point. Anoint your home. This was a message on, on uh, someone's book. Um, they go over different other things, but this was one thing that came, stood out. Anoint your home. We do. We need to find oil. And, you know, me, I'm, I'm a simple human being. I... I uh, I have and I use the resources I have um, 
in the past and when I anointed my home I did have extra virgin olive oil that I bought commercially from the store but I found prayers that helped me I also prayed for the words to come from the Holy Ghost through me and I prayed over the oil that I had in my home I'm and I, I just want to say this as a sidebar if you don't have the fancy fancy you know you someone prayed over it and you bought it and you know whatever if you use the resources you had because back then that's what they used they used the resources what they had which was the olive tree the olive oil that was what they used so if you want to use that that's what you use use what you have um, I don't know I other religions I think they use holy water you know I, I, I don't like I said this is your walk and then this is you can pray over it and ask the Lord to help you guide you to a resource that you can use uh, but basically what this is saying is um, anoint your home and touch it with this as a covering and so that's what I did I prayed over what I had and I went to all the corners of my home over the doorways windows and uh, and uh, let's see what else I think inner doors too in my home as well and then God love them I went to my family while they slept I also prayed quietly the Lord let them sleep because <laughs> I'm sure it would have been a shock me standing over them <laughs> but I quietly prayed over them uh, my daughter's little and my husband you know he he uh, slept through it. He, I didn't wake him. But I quietly prayed over them and anointed them with oil. And that was the way I did it. So I just want to I just want to let you know that was my path. That was my walk. And that was how the Lord le led me. And I have to say, it gave me such peace. A wave and a wash of peace came over me once I did this for my dwelling as well as the loved ones in my life and I, I have to say I no longer was standing in that field field completely exposed on the defensive ready to fend off attacks but more on the offensive keeping them at bay with my hedge or wall of protection around me and that's what I want to offer to you and that's what the Lord pressed on me yesterday, that memory of anointing my home. So whatever is coming, we don't know because we don't, we're not supposed to see into the future. But we are supposed to know the season we live in. And we're supposed to be awake and aware of the, the world. Not have our heads stuck in the ground. Not tilling the ground with our feet looking down, but looking up seeking God's face heeding the warnings heeding the signs being true to the Holy Spirit that was that's within us amen not to be um, hmm not to be distracted so to be fooled right the very elect so anyway um, okay so I found a few prayers and some scripture and then I'll let you get going okay um, 2nd Corinthians 1 verse 21 through 22 now it is God who makes both of us and you stand firm in Christ he anointed us set his his seal of ownership on us and put his spirit in our hearts as a deposit guaranteeing what is to come so to me this this speaks of the anointing of ourselves and through the lord and also accepting him that deposit taking him in taking the Holy Spirit in, taking God in and having his seal all over us is that hedge protection over us I just thought it was beautiful okay there's more and then as well 
First Chronicles sixteen twenty one through twenty two. He allowed no one to oppress them. He rebuked kings on their account, saying, Touch not my anointed ones. Do my prophets no harm. Amen. So now that our seal is upon us, the Lord steps in front of us and says, These are mine. You have no right. Turn from here and do them no harm. Amen? The hedge, the wall, he stands, I'm going to cry, he stands between us and them. The last line, touch not my anointed ones, do my prophets no harm. That is the protection, the seal from the anointed, from the anointing. Amen. Okay, sorry. This one felt like it felt more important to get this to you than almost any other message that I've brought. Because not only does it speak of God's love, because this is love. Ownership and protection is love. He's committed to us. And he's saying, they're mine. Back off. Go away. So, um, the anointing. Okay, so I found a couple of um, prayers that spoke to me. And I just want to reiterate you can pray over this if this is something that moved you to do um, this anointing um, wonderful amen if not wonderful amen you need to pray and take this to the Lord pray over it ask for discernment and and expect that the Lord is going to help you guide you keep you on the path he wants you on so if you want to do this anointing amen this is and if not if it's not what you need to do amen but I was compelled to share this with you and uh, okay so I want to read this prayer that I found I have two and um, I'll let you get going Heavenly Father I pray for a wall of protection around our children today to keep the enemy at bay and the bullies away. In the name of Jesus, amen. Don't limit God. I surrender my all to you, withholding nothing. Lord, may my thoughts and my actions not hinder or limit the marvelous blessings you have in store for me. Allow me not to limit the path I am supposed to be on. Let there be no shortcuts. Lend me, excuse me, lead me, guide me, and walk beside me. Excuse me. As your will be done. Amen. Amen. Okay, some scripture, and then I'll let you go. Okay, Psalms 91, 1 through 7, King James Version. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him I will trust. Surely he shall deliver thee 
from the snare of the fowler and from the noise, noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with the feathers and under his wing shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shall not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh amongst or in the darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy feet at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come high nigh excuse me, come nigh thee. So in other words, we are under the hedge or the protection and have the hedge and the wall and the shield of God's love around us. Amen. Okay, so this actually I found on Kenneth Copeland's um, website, and I won't read it all to you, but I'll leave it up on the screen, and if you pause this video, then you should be able to read it um, at your leisure, but it's basically kind of a um, rundown on ways you can anoint your home with oil and oils that you can use. And like I said, these are suggestions. Um, earlier I gave suggestions. Pray over it. And if you want to um, take part in this, then this is just a way that you can do that. Um, I love you all. I truly do. And I pray a hedge of protection over you all as well. I love you. And... God loves you more. Please take care and may God bless you and keep you. We don't know what to the next five minutes could bring tomorrow, ten years from now, if the Lord blesses us to be here ten more years or ten more minutes. But His love is true and it's a guiding force in our lives. Please take care, and may God bless you and keep you. Amen.